So in the last lecture, I told you that in Node, we have a few useful modules that are built into the core of Node. With these modules, we can work with files, with the operating system, with the network, and so on. So let's have a quick look at these built-in modules. Head over to nodejs.org, then go to Docs on the left side, go to version 8.9.3. That's the current stable release. Chances are, by the time you're watching this video, this version might be different. So that doesn't really matter. Just pick that version. Now here in the table of contents, you can see the built-in modules. Of course, not everything you see here is a module. For example, we have console, which is our console object. We have buffer, which we are going to learn about in the future in this course. Again, that's a global object, but you can see that this is a fairly short list. And some of the items in this list are built in modules in Node. So just that, you can see there are not many modules built into Node. I'm gonna highlight a few very useful modules that you should be aware of. For example, we have file system to work with files. We have HTTP that you're going to learn about later in this section. So with this, we can create web servers that listen for HTTP requests. We have OS to work with the operating system. We have path, which gives us a bunch of utility functions for working with paths. We have process that gives us information about the current process. We have query strings, which is very useful in building HTTP services. We have a stream, which allows us to work with streams of data. Again, you're going to learn about this in the future and a bunch of other modules. Now, in this lecture, we're going to look at this path module. So on the documentation, you can see all the functions defined in this module. In this lecture, we're going to use the parse method. Now, if you scroll down, you can see how you can use this module. So you have seen the require function before. We call the module using the require function, get the result, which is an object and store it in a constant. So back in VS Code, in app.js, let's call require and as the argument, use path. Now, the argument that we give to this require function, Node assumes that this is a built-in module. If there is no built-in module by the name specified here, then Node looks for the existence of a relative path to a file in this application. So if we have period slash or period period slash whatever, then Node assumes that this is a file in this application. Now, in this case, we're gonna load the built-in path module and store it in a constant called path. So this is an object with a bunch of useful methods. The method we're going to use is the parse method. So I'm gonna give it this underline underline file name, which is one of the arguments in the module wrapper function that you saw in the last lecture. So let's call this and store the result in path object. And then finally, log it on the console, path object. Now back in the terminal, Let's run this application. So this is the path object. It has a few useful properties. We have root, we have dir, which specifies the path to the folder containing this file. Here's the name of the file, app.js. Here's the extension, and here's the name of the file without the extension. So if you wanna work with paths, it's much easier to use the path module as opposed to working with strings. In the next lecture, we're going to look at another built-in module that gives us information about the operating system. Hi guys, it's Mosh here. Thank you for watching my Node tutorial. I just wanted to let you know that this video you've been watching is part of my complete Node course where you will learn everything about Node from the basic to the advanced topics. If you're serious about learning Node, I highly recommend you to enroll in my Node course because this is much faster than jumping from one tutorial to another. It saves you time. Plus, you're going to get a lot of exercises that will prepare you for the real world. And also at the end of the course, you will receive a certificate of completion that you can provide to your current or future employer. So if you want to enroll, click on the link in the video description. I hope to see you in the course.